I'm going to give you the best real examples of how Geico delays claims and makes terrible settlement offers. Unfortunately, many people foolishly accept these shockingly low offers. We are prepared to offer you. I'll take it. I'll explain how Geico gets away with this and what you can do about it to even your odds at getting a fair settlement. You'll hear about one case where Geico offered just $500 and a jury later awarded the injured woman over $14 million. In the last several years, Geico has paid me somewhere around $1 million or more in auto accident injury claims. During this time, I have seen what goes on behind Geico's curtain and I'm going to share what I've learned with you. As promised, here are a few examples of Geico's shockingly low offers and how they ended up paying the price. A driver crashed into the back of Brooke's SUV and caused it to roll over to one side. Brooke had neck pain and headaches. An MRI showed that she had a herniated disc in her neck. Brooke's lawyer offered to settle with Geico for her $500,000 underinsured motorist insurance limit. In response, Geico only offered her a measly five $500 to settle her personal injury claim. Her pain management doctor gave her trigger point injections to her neck. Later, Brooke's neurosurgeon said she'd need a neck surgery in the future. At trial, a jury awarded Brooke over $14 million for her claim. Geico's offer was obviously ridiculous. So why did Geico only offer $500 when the claim was worth multiples of that amount? The answer may be found here. Geico spends over $2 billion in advertising each year, and they have some of the funniest ads around. Most people probably know that Geico could save their money on car insurance, right? The purpose of any good advertising campaign is for you to trust the company that's advertising. Geico's ads are so good and you see them everywhere that you end up trusting Geico. So when you have a claim with Geico, you believe that they'll do the right thing and pay you fairly. Unfortunately, as you just saw, if you trust Geico to make a fair offer, you're making a big mistake. Thankfully, Brooke rejected the horrendous offer and her lawyer got a big verdict. There is a second way that Geico gets away with making shockingly low settlement offers. To show you what it is, let's look at my client Sam's case. Sam was riding his bike when someone driving a car hit him. Shortly after the accident, Sam hired me as his lawyer. The police officer gave the driver a ticket. Geico insured the driver and assigned a really sweet claims adjuster to handle the claim. You know, the type of person that you could be close friends with. As a result of getting hit, Sam broke his ankle and the doctor drilled a plate and screws into his leg. They later removed the plate and screws. His medical bills were adding up fast. Sam wondered how he'd be able to support his family and pay his medical bills. It was now over six months since Sam's accident. Can you guess how much money Geico's friendly adjuster had offered at this point? Zero. They had not even offered a penny. So I worked extremely hard to put pressure on Geico to fairly pay Sam for his car accident case. I finally got Geico to make an offer. We were optimistic that they'd do the right thing. Unfortunately, Geico's offer was terrible. Even though Sam had two surgeries and mounting medical bills, Geico only offered $100,000 to settle. Basically, Geico was continuing to delay Sam's settlement. So I marched forward and continued to build Sam's case. Ultimately, we settled with Geico for $350,000 thousand dollars but it was only after geico's kind adjuster delayed the case for an incredibly long time that's the second way that geico gets away with delaying cases and making shockingly low settlement offers their claims adjusters are really nice and many of you who have car accidents think that geico will treat you fairly just because the adjuster is nice to you here's the problem geico wants to pay out less in claims why do i say this several years ago geico's internal documents were revealed its regional claims director was happy that their average claim payout was less than the year before. Now, I gave you two examples of how Geico shockingly underpays personal injury claims. I could spend countless hours giving you more examples of how Geico is a terribly cheap insurance company, but I think you get the point. On the bright side, I have some good news. You can fight back against car insurance companies to get them to pay you what's fair, but to do so, you need to follow a few simple and quick steps that most people who have car accidents don't know about. To learn what these steps are, watch this video here or click on the link in the description below. And if you're seriously injured in a car accident in Florida and you think that someone else may be at fault, click on the link in the description below to see if I can represent you.